एस चांद प्रेजेंट एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एज पर द न्यू यूजीसी करिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम वॉट इज मार्केटिंग हाउ इट इज इम्पैक्टिंग द बिजनेस इकोनॉमिक्स वॉट एग्जैक्टली इज हैपनिंग वेन वी टॉक अबाउट द एक्चुअल टर्म दैट इज द मार्केटिंग वेलकम टू एस चांद अकेडमी आई एम सुमन इन दिस वीडियो वील लर्न अबाउट हाउ एग्जैक्टली द फॉर्म्स आर परफॉर्मिंग यूजिंग द मार्केटिंग कॉन्सेप्ट विद इन दम सेल्फ एंड हाउ आर दे वर्किंग बियॉन्ड द कपैसिटी दैट दे हैव हाउ दे डिसाइड ऑन वेरियस सेलिंग कॉस्ट वॉट एग्जैक्टली आर द प्रोडक्शन कॉस्ट वॉट एग्जैक्टली आर द एडवर्टाइजिंग कॉस्ट आर दीज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम ईच अदर सो दीज थिंग्स विल बी अंडरस्टूड वेन वी गो फर्दर इन टू द वीडियो एंड विल अंडरस्टैंड दैट हाउ दिस सेलिंग कॉस्ट इज वर्किंग इफ यू वॉन्ट टू गेट मोर इन्फॉर्मेशन ऑन दीज टॉपिक्स प्लीज रेफर टू द बुक बाय एस चांद पब्लिशिंग the description for the ebook is given in the link below so the term selling cost very important term while talking about the marketing factor within business economics right now we are into a global scenario where each thing is somewhat related to the other i cannot run my marketing activities or my financial activities without having an understanding of the business economy or without having the understanding of how the economic or trade policies are working and the vice versa is also that i cannot decide on my trade policies if i don't know that how my selling activities and marketing activities are going to happen in the market so these things since they are interrelated the first concept that we need to understand is the selling cost and the advertising somewhat similar by their name somewhat similar in their meaning क्या सेलिंग कॉस्ट और एडवर्टाइजिंग सेम है क्या इन दोनों के कॉस्ट सिमिलर है सम वॉट सिमिलर बट सम वॉट डिफरेंट वॉट एग्जैक्टली इज द सेलिंग कॉस्ट वेन आई टॉक अबाउट द सेलिंग कॉस्ट इट एक्चुअली रेफर्स टू द एंटायर एक्सपेंसिस दैट द सेलर इज बियरिंग एंड हाउ इट इज बियरिंग बाय पॉपुलर पॉपुलराइजिंग द डिफ्रेंशिएटेड प्रोडक्ट सो सेलिंग कॉस्ट विल बी इन इंक्लूडिंग एवरीथिंग and most important instrument by which a firm can convince its buyer is by the differentiating nature of its products now the point is ki advertising ka isme kya kaam hai why we are actually including advertising in selling cost because in the long run we know that even if i include all the expenses i need to understand one thing that without proper advertising i cannot sell on my product in the market and i cannot create a mindset amongst the people i cannot create a psyche of the people which can hit and decide that yes this is something where i need to buy so what is happening the monopolistic competitor is doing it is trying to differentiate it, the nature of one product from the other with the help of advertising so advertising becomes that paid form of instrument whereby there is a seller who is not visible to everyone but actually incurring this selling cost so if i know that i need to sell my product in the market i need to have proper advertising i need to have proper marketing strategies and only then the sale of the product will be possible and hence the advertising cost automatically is included as a part of the selling cost moving on to the american economist edward chamberlain selling cost are the cost incurred in order to alter the position or shape of demand curve for a product so what exactly it is this demand curve we all know is downward sloping and includes the inverse relationship between price and quantity demanded is it possible that price and demand go simultaneously kya demand ke badhne se price kam to ho raha hai kya aisa bhi hota hai ki price ke badhne se bhi demand badh rahi hai that might happen with the case of exceptional goods known as the webland goods so as per the famous american economist what he is trying to say is that when we advertise something in such a way that it is different from others 
or it is somehow accentuating your own status in the society or maybe it is not just need it is something which is differentiating you as a consumer then somewhat the demand curve might differ it might have a positive relationship between the price and the quantity demanded so that is how one needs to understand the selling cost and advertising go simultaneously somewhere or the other the advertising cost itself is a part of the selling cost and such cost can be incurred only when there is the sales promotion there are various other forms of advertising which are included within the selling cost and making it possible to happen now there is another cost that is the production cost a selling cost or production cost somewhat sound similar ki mujhe sell karna hai mujhe produce karna hai but literally if you see the meaning production cost is the beginning and selling cost is somewhere in the moderate zone as far as the seller's activity is concerned production cost aapke sare raw materials ka cost hai um, uh, factor of production ka cost hai the four factors of production land labor capital entrepreneurship when i talk about those cost that includes the production cost so production cost i cannot directly relate it to the selling cost somewhere in the past at times people used to use these terms interchangeably but with time they realized that with increased competition i cannot include my production cost with the selling cost production ke liye alag effort ja raha hai selling ke liye alag effort ja raha hai because selling itself is the huge task the mere fact that i have produced you know maybe 100 units of something is not actually making it fruitful enough to sell it in the market mujhe sell karne ke liye aur alag activities chahiye और उन सारे एक्टिविटीज का जो भी कॉस्ट आएगा दैट विल बी टर्म अंडर दी सेलिंग कॉस्ट सो नो वेयर इन द इकोनॉमिक्स इट इज बीइंग डिस्क्राइब दैट प्रोडक्शन कॉस्ट विल इंक्लूड दी सेलिंग कॉस्ट एंड वाइस वर्सा एंड इफ आई से दैट फोर फैक्टर्स ऑफ प्रोडक्शन आर इनकरिंग दिस मच कॉस्ट आई कैन नॉट से दैट सिमिलर इज गोइंग टू हैपन फॉर द सेलिंग कॉस्ट सेलिंग कॉस्ट माइट हैव द एडवर्टाइजिंग कॉस्ट सेलिंग कॉस्ट माइट हैव द डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन कॉस्ट selling cost might involve hiring the people who are actually influencing the consumers to buy the products so this is what selling cost and production cost are differing themselves further moving ahead the differences can be made clear from this uh, table incurred under all types of market category production ke liye aapko har jagah hi effort karna padega to har market mein you are incurring production cost when that is not the case in the selling cost because in case of monopoly you might not incur any kind of advertising cost because you are the only one so people will come to you influence the supply side production is totally dependent on supply but the demand side is more impacted by the selling cost because i might change the demand of the uh, consumer by advertising so that is possible to meet the demand is the task of production cost but to create demand is the task of selling cost because you are trying to create the demand create but it is not 100% sure that demand create hogi hi hogi that is entirely the task of the seller ki wo kis tarike se activity kar raha hai some elements of proportionality between production cost and output but no definite proportion is there between selling cost and production cost and production cost is never an item of waste while selling cost is totally your own at your own risk wo ho sakta hai aapka convert na ho sale mein so that will be totally waste in case you are not able to convert the pitch into sale so that is one such risk which needs to be uh, you know bore by the seller further moving ahead are the selling cost to be considered as items of waste there are two sides of the same coin one says that yes at times selling cost might be uh, an item of waste but otherwise also it might not be how it is an item of waste how it can be an waste because it, the, it is considered as an item of waste due to the rise in prices aap selling cost mein incur karoge aap price kahin na kahin badhaoge production ka and ultimately the product will reach to the consumer in the same price or not that is another thing misleading advertising must be may be there and which might create a kind of 
bad image for you in the market cross transparent which might lead the consumer from one region to go to another region to purchase and the consumer might end up in you know a very unsatisfied zone which is again going to be harmful for you in the long run not effective there can be some ways i as i told you that at times the selling cost is totally at your own risk you might end up not converting the pitch into a complete sale and that is very hazardous for any business if it ha- happens so you need to keep this thing in mind that when you are doing such kind of activities you have certain backup with you if that is not there then overall the selling cost might end up to be a cost of waste for you but on the other side there are certain situations where it is being said that when there is this selling cost working as a way of persuasiveness or it is informative enough then the selling cost is very much effective for the entire business and at the same time it creates some kind of uh, you can say positive salesmanship because it is somewhat leading the entire production to a zone jahan pe wo actual production se market tak pahunch raha hai and it is trying to create demand selling cost create demand because it is its ultimate goal agar demand up create kar paoge only then it will convert into sale so what is happening when sale selling cost is creating demand ultimately your task is fulfilled your task is fulfilled in a way because aggressive marketing kar rahe ho aap aggressive advertising kar rahe ho and aggressively you are targeting the consumers of whatever segment you have chosen so market segmentation is also done and apart from that this entire selling cost will target that market in order to gain the maximum benefit so before going on to a short break we will just recap what exactly we have learned we have learned about various costs that are associated with the production there can be selling cost there can be advertising cost at times these costs might co- actually cause the business for losses and on the other way other hand it can also cost huge profit for the business this is totally in the hands of the monopolist or the monopolistic competitor that how to utilize it in a positive way after the break we'll learn more about this in detail and we'll understand that how it is working in the entire business now quality learning is easily available at your doorstep S Chand Academy brings detailed lectures based on UGC curriculum as per the new education policy 2020. So do not forget to subscribe to the S Chand Academy and access the wide world of knowledge conveniently sitting within the comfort of your home. Stay connected and keep watching S Chand Academy. Happy learning. Welcome back to S Chand Academy. before going on to the break we have learned about the different concepts of the cost that are involved in the production whether in its monopolistic competition or perfect competition or monopoly let's now understand few other kinds of cost and how the excess capacity is working within the monopolistic competition and different other market structures let's just understand these thing in details so average selling cost curve till now we have talked about the average cost we have talked about the average cost curve we have talked about many such average costs which are actually uh, imposing or utilizing the business in a way which is positive for the business but what exactly is average selling cost curve is this different from the average cost curve or it is somewhat similar When we talk about the average selling cost curve it is the beginning it is actually working like the average cost curve only the only thing is why we are calling it average selling cost curve because it is precisely meant for showing that how the sale is working how the selling cost curve is working and how the selling cost curve initially is moving downwards and then started to rising beyond a particular point why so because we know that initially it is actually like the ordinary average cost curve which will fall because the rev- revenue is rising in that sense 
and after certain point when the utility from the additional unit or by the sale of the additional unit starts falling generating lesser revenue the comparative cost starts rising and hence it will be u shaped cost curve in the long run average selling cost curve is very important in order to determine what exactly is the sale uh, selling cost curve like and how the cost is working or how the selling cost is working within the market framework when we are talking about the monopolistic competition average selling cost curve we can say that it should be carefully interpreted why so because it does not mean how the average selling cost per unit changes when we talk about the normal average cost curve that is per unit cost curve but here it is not exactly the per unit why because hum jab selling cost ki baat karte hain we talk about the entire cost which is being uh, taken care of by the firm us situation mein hum per unit cost ko consider hi nahi kar rahe hain because we are considering the entire selling cost as one unit it means that the average selling cost per unit which is required to be undertaken to sell various amount of output so what is actually required here is that ultimately average selling cost curve will become vertical it will not always stay like this because it is not the per unit cost always we are going to consider it as a cost which is depending on the demand in the market and when that happens what is going to happen it is ultimately going to become vertical in the long run so this thing is something which needs to be kept in mind throughout and that will be ultimately required while considering the average selling cost curve moving ahead the with the optimum level of advertising outlay or the selling cost ऑप्टिमम लेवल ऑफ एडवर्टाइजिंग आउटले एडवर्टाइजिंग आउटले इज वॉट आपका पूरा जो आउटले है विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू एडवर्टाइजिंग हाउ मच यू आर हैविंग एज द एंटायर एडवर्टाइजिंग बजट आपको इसको ऑप्टिमम लेवल तक लेके जाना है बट वी नो दैट दिस सेलिंग कॉस्ट इज सम वॉट डिटरमाइंड बाय वॉट काइंड ऑफ डिमांड इज देयर इन द मार्केट एंड डिमांड इज फर्दर डिटरमाइंड बाय द इलास्टिसिटी ऑफ इट्स and what is happening the entire price cost margin advertising cost or ye sari cheeze ultimately kis pe depend karengi the sensitivity of quantity demanded so that is what that is nothing but the elasticity of demand so what is optimum level of advertising outlay you need to have this optimum level because you need to achieve to a point whereby you are at equilibrium with respect to the demand the demand is being taken care of by what the actual price elasticity so when you have the price elasticity you know that demand is being affected and ultimately the cost incurred on the sales further moving ahead a very interesting concept after understanding or learning about the optimum level of advertising outlay one needs to understand that there is this excess capacity under monopolistic competition this is a very important thing to understand and very interesting at the same time because excess capacity refers to a situation where a business or an economy produces goods and services at a level lower than what is capable of producing what is excess capacity the term itself says that there is something in excess but excess kya hai kya excess production hai क्या एक्सेस आपका कुछ आउटपुट uh, है बट इट इज एक्सेस कैपेसिटी सो व्हाट इज हैपनिंग एक्सेस कैपेसिटी इज अ सिचुएशन वेयर एक्चुअली द फॉर्म इज प्रोड्यूसिंग बिलो इट्स ओन पोटेंशियल आपका अपना पोटेंशियल कितना है आप उस पोटेंशियल को ध्यान में रख के प्रोडक्शन कर रहे हो लेट्स से यू आर केपेबल ऑफ प्रोड्यूसिंग हंड्रेड यूनिट्स बट यू आर प्रोड्यूसिंग ओनली एट्टी यूनिट now this difference between 80 and 100 is your excess capacity you could have produced 100 but you are sticking to 80 why because you are in monopolistic competition i'm not talking about monopoly monopoly mein to aap 100 ka 120 karo 80 karo no one is actually bothered 
but if you are under monopolistic competition you have to give that term a specific name because this excess capacity is going to make you draw out something whereby you will be capable of deciding on the prices at the end agar aap 80 produce kar rahe ho aur aap 100 ke capable ho iska impact kya hoga iska impact hoga total industry pe total cartel pe kis tarike se price determine hoga kis tarike se quantity determine hoga that will be understood by this maybe one person amongst the entire cartel is producing 100 out of 100 the other one is producing 90 out of 100 the other one is producing 80 out of 100 but that is because there is excess capacity the concept of excess capacity and because of this the cartel will be deciding on the prices as it is abo 80 out of 100 kar raha hai kyun kar raha hai because it may be in the benefit of that firm in the long run wo sari cheeze dekhne ke liye there has to be a graphical understanding of it so excess capacity what happens is when a firm produces more than what exactly is needed and it can lead to higher cost as i said one is producing 100 out of 100 the other is producing 80 out of 100 to higher cost kahin na kahin to cartel ko bear karna padega kyunki ek jana apni capacity ko pura utilize nahi kar raha hai firms can address it by reducing production levels a production level ka reduce kar sakte ho it is similar to the fact that if you are capable of studying 4 hours a day you are studying 2 and a half hours you are wasting your 1 and a half hours so ab uska cost to aapko long run mein bear karna padega uska kya outcome hoga the production level will reduce maybe it will impact your marks maybe it will impact your habit of studying that you are not used to uh, you know study for more than 2 and a half hours in the long run so these things will be ultimate uh, fact which the entire industry need to suffer and it is very challenging because excess capacity if it starts accumulating in the long run it will be very challenging for the entire industry to cope up with it kyunki aap kitna gap create karte jaoge once in a while aapne 20 ka gap create kiya but the 20 plus 20 plus 20 will keep on accumulating but wo cheez aapke paas wapas to nahi aayega similarly ab agar aap wahi one and a half hours waste karte jate ho daily ke what will happen it will not come back so wo aapka jo time lag hai wo kahin na kahin accumulate ho raha hai and that is going to be challenging for you in the long term let's understand this graphically that what exactly is excess capacity you can simply see here जिस तरीके से आपका ए आर कर्व एम आर कर्व काम करता है या ए आर ए सी एन एम सी काम कर रहा है सब चीज़ें वैसे ही हैं डिमांड कर्व इज देयर ए आर कर्व एम आर कर्व इज देयर एल एम सी एन एल ए सी आर देयर लॉन्ग रन एवरेज कॉस्ट एंड लॉन्ग रन मार्जिनल कॉस्ट वेयर इज द ऑप्टिम आउटपुट एंड वेयर इज द एक्सेस कैपेसिटी सी आई कैन से इफ दिस इज माई डिमांड तो डिमांड के अकॉर्डिंग मैंने कितना प्रोड्यूस किए इतने प्राइस पे इतना क्वांटिटी इट माइट गो अहेड इट माइट रिड्यूस ऐसा भी हो सकता है कि आप यू आर प्रोड्यूसिंग दिस और यू आर गोइंग दिस बट आप कहीं ना कहीं इस जोन के अंडर हो व्हाट इज द रीजन दिस इज द डिमांड कर्व यू कैन नॉट गो बियॉन्ड दिस सिंपल बट आपका जो मार्जिनल रेवेन्यू है दैट इज ऑल्सो क्रिएटिंग अ काइंड ऑफ सिचुएशन and at the same time aapka cost curve cost curve is also allowing you to have a certain excess capacity demand itna tha but kyunki aapka cost hai jahan tak aap ja sakte ho excess aapke paas paisa zyada hai to aap zyada produce kar sakte ho to aap isko kahan tak aapne increase kar diya till this point because marginal cost and average cost are intersecting here तो आप यहाँ तक जा सकते हो बिकॉज दैट इज द थिंग दैट इज बीइंग प्रोवाइडेड टू यू बाय द इकोनॉमी बाय द स्टेप्स दैट यू हैव टेकन सो व्हाट इज हैपनिंग ये जितना आपने प्रोड्यूस किया और जितना कॉस्ट की वजह से आप प्रोड्यूस कर सकते थे दिस एंटायर गैप इज द एक्सेस कैपेसिटी आपने प्रोड्यूस कितना किया ओ बट आपके पास कैपेसिटी कितनी थी ओ क्यू लेवल सो वॉट इज हैपनिंग दिस एंटायर गैप इज एक्सेस कैपेसिटी You could have produced more. क्यों क्योंकि आपके पास पैसा ज्यादा है बट मार्केट में डिमांड इतनी थी तो आपने अपने आपको रिस्ट्रिक्ट कर दिया बट आप यहाँ तक भी तो जा सकते थे फिर आप एक्सेस से ऊपर जाते 
और अगर आप यहीं तक जाते एग्जैक्टली exactly, तो आपके पास एक्सेस कैपेसिटी नहीं होती इफ यू कुड हैव गॉन टिल हेयर तो आपके पास एक्सेस कैपेसिटी होती नहीं इक्वल हो जाता दोनों द मोमेंट इट इज इक्वल द इकोनॉमी इज वर्किंग टू इट्स फुल पोटेंशियल बट सिंस इट इज नॉट वर्किंग देन द इकोनॉमी स्टार्ट सफरिंग एंड इफ इट इज गोइंग बियॉन्ड दिस बियॉन्ड द कैपेसिटी देन वॉट विल हैपन आप धीरे धीरे अपनी लिमिट्स को पुश करोगे बट कब तक जब तक आपके पास कॉस्ट एक्स्ट्रा है जब तक है आप कर सकते हो बिकॉज यू विल स्टार्ट अर्निंग मोर रेवेन्यू बट द मोमेंट यू आर डूइंग इट लेस यू आर क्रिएटिंग अ काइंड ऑफ सिचुएशन वेयर द एक्सेस कैपेसिटी इज देर एंड वॉट इज गोइंग टू हैपन द इकोनॉमी इन द लॉन्ग रन इज गोइंग टू फेस लॉसेज फॉर इट टू समराइज वी हैव लर्न दैट दिस एक्सेस कैपेसिटी इज बाउंड टू हैपन बिकॉज people within a cartel are in silent competition and they do it intentionally in order to sustain themselves or to create burden on others or their competitors so this excess capacity in the long run might lead to a very big economic loss this economic loss needs to be covered up immediately by the cartel if they want to sustain this is something which needs to be learned and understood Thank you. If you want to get more information on these topics, please refer to the book by S. Chan Publishing. The description for the e-book is given in the link below. If you found the video interesting, please like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to press the bell icon for further notifications. Stay connected. All rights reserved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.